Okay, we're going to be working on uh, part 207-6-40 right here. Um, so uh, as we look at this part, this cradle, we're going to look at the height right here. It says it's 50 millimeters. Now the height should be from the top to the bottom. So that means that this dimension right here is printed wrong in this book. Um, so that should be H and height. So from here up to the top should be 50 millimeters. The width across here from here to here is going to be 150 millimeters. The depth, which is this top view here, across this back part here is going to be 58. So we'll extrude that back 58 when we do it. The base part down here is going to be 12 millimeters thick. A, from here to here, is going to be um, 76. So from right there to right there is going to be 76. And this radius right here, B, is 26. That should be enough to get us going. So let's go ahead and click on AutoCAD. We're going to click on New, and we're going to click on the ACAD um, template that we just started. And it's going to come in as a DWG file. But this is the new template, and we'll go ahead and switch to the UCS right um, for that to, so we can put that in there this way so we're gonna start off by doing a polyline pick a spot somewhere up here is fine hit F8 and make that go down 12 and then we're gonna I'm just gonna zoom back out a little bit we're gonna go to the right 150 go up 12 and then C to close okay um, we knew how thick that was so we're gonna extrude this whole thing right here back 58 all right, so we've got the base of it done. Now, if we look back here, we're going to look at this A. Um, the, the width of A or is 76, and the height of it is 50. So we'll go back to AutoCAD using the same thing. We'll do a polyline, um, and we will go down, click a start point, go down 50, go across 76, go up 50, and then C to close. Um, we can then extrude that also, the same width of 58. And we will then move that the same way we've been moving stuff. So we'll click that object, right click, make sure our base point is going to be that midpoint. And now we've set the UCS, I mean set the o, o snap settings, so it automatically snaps to that midpoint and now goes to this midpoint also. Now in this case what we're going to do is we're going to union these two parts together. So we click union and this makes these two two parts into one part. That is a must do. And when you make your PDF file in the end, you will be able to, um, uh, it'll be obvious. Okay, and now that we've got that part union together, which it has to be, we've got to worry about that radius. And that radius is 26 millimeters. And it's going to be right on this, from this midpoint here. We'll go up and click on circle. Let's find a circle. And we want to do center radius because we know that's what it is. Go to that midpoint right there. We're going to go to this. I'm going to go right here because I don't want to select the midpoint of that line right there. I want this midpoint. And we'll go ahead and click make that 26. Now because I want it to subtract it from there, I'm going to extrude it. And I don't care how long it is. So I click extrude. Click that circle. Right click with the mouse. Enter. And then extrude it beyond that part. Doesn't matter what it is. And I'm going to click subtract. What do I want to keep? I'm going to select that part, then right click or enter, and then select the cylinder, and it should get rid of that other piece in there in the middle. Now that's what it should look like when we're done with it. Um, so um, that should be okay uh, from there. So we'll click on save, and we're going to save this now as, oops, wow, that's real weird. We'll save it as 207, 207-6-40 and it is a cradle all right so 7-6-40 cradle click save um, go up to the print so this should come as a DWG to PDF if it's not already there that's what you're gonna select change this to extents center the plot click preview and ooh, I don't like that black so I'm gonna right click and I'm going to exit out of this because um, I don't want it to be black I don't want it to be realistic when I make that print because it was you, you couldn't see what was going on concept might work fine um, so let's try that so let's click print go ahead DWG to PDF DWG to PDF extent center the plot click preview yeah that's better you can't we can look at that and know what's going on um, click plot and it should save it right there at the bottom and you should be able to move forward um, from there that would be the PDF file that you would submit all right, excellent.